Hello, today's tutorial will go over the procedure for conducting a paired t-test for paired data in R Commander. The data set we are going to use today is STATS250 dataset. We are going to take a look at the data set. To do this, click on View Data Set. We see that we have student ID number, exam 1 score, exam 2 score, average homework score out of 30 points, and final exam score. We are going to take a look at comparing exam 1 and exam 2 scores. We would like to see if these are on average about the same in terms of difficulty or whether there appears to be a significant difference. This would mean that our null hypothesis is that the average difference in exam 1 and exam 2 scores is zero, and our alternative hypothesis is that the average difference in exam 1 and exam 2 scores is not zero. We know that our data is paired because we are looking at two measurements on the same student. Since we are interested in the actual differences, we first need to compute them. To do this, we go to Data, Manage Variables in Active Data Set, Compute New Variable. We first need to name this new variable, and R is very sensitive to naming here, so it is important that your new variable is something without spacing and starts with a letter. Let's call our variable diff. Then we need to define this new variable in this expression box here. Notice that it automatically gives us all current variables, so if we double click any of these variables, they will automatically go into this box down here. So we are interested in exam 1 minus exam 2, the difference in those two, so we're going to double click exam 1 and it automatically goes down here. I'm going to type in a minus sign and then I'm going to double click exam 2. After that, I'm going to hit OK. And then to make sure that my variable is correct, I'm going to click View Data Set again. I notice that my difference column has appeared, this diff variable I computed. And then as a sanity check, I'm going to look at the first student. I see they got 57 on exam 1 and 60 on exam 2. So their new difference should be 57 minus 60, negative 3. So it looks like my expression worked correctly. So now that I have this new difference variable, I can explore a numerical summary of the two variables. I can make a histogram or a QQ plot of the differences. We want to do a hypothesis test for the difference or report a confidence interval for the average differences in scores, exam 1 minus exam 2. Before we get started, we want to examine our data. So to examine the numerical summaries, we go to Statistics, Summaries, Numerical Summaries. And we choose that difference variable we computed. And then make sure we go to Statistics and we add, and we want also to see that standard error of the mean. And we click OK. If we look at our summary measures, we see the average difference is about 3.3, meaning on average, the difference between exam 1 minus exam 2 was about negative 3.3. We see the standard error is also given right here. So we could use our formula card and compute that uh, confidence interval. A nice thing about R is when you do a hypothesis test, it automatically gives you that confidence interval as well in the output. So let's conduct our hypothesis test. If we go to statistics, means, paired t-test, and we select our two variables. Exam 1 is going to be our first variable, and exam 2 is going to be our second variable. And the reason is that it's going to do first variable minus second variable. So if I'm interested in exam 1 minus exam 2, exam 1 is my first variable, and exam 2 is my second variable. After that, I will go to options, and recall that my alternative hypothesis was significant direction, it was two-sided, so I'm going to choose the two-sided hypothesis, and then for the confidence interval it's going to construct in my output, let's pretend that I'm interested in a 90% confidence level. So I change all of that, and I click OK, and then I can go to my output window and I can see the confidence interval for the differences was given down here, and we see that the Estimated difference of exam 1 minus exam 2 scores on average is, appears to be less than zero. We can also see that the output has a t-test statistic of about 2.39 and a p-value of about 2%. Negative 
0.93, and then again, we see right here about 2%. So at my 10% significance level, I have evidence to conclude that the average difference of exam one score minus exam two score is not zero. So this implies that the difficulty might not be the same. Um, and I also see that my interval was completely below zero. So maybe I wanna do a follow-up and see if exam one minus exam two is on average less than zero. So I'm gonna go back to statistics, means, paired t-test, and we want to make sure our variables are in the correct order. So again, I still have exam one minus exam two. And then I go back to my options. And this time I'm interested in a difference less than zero. And maybe this time I want a confidence interval significance level of 5%. And so I click OK. So we have the results for a t-test for a negative difference in exam one minus exam two scores. And we look at our p-values about 1%. And at 5%, that would give us evidence to conclude that exam one minus exam two scores are on average less than zero. So this implies maybe some greater difficulty on exam two. I would like to point out that R gave us that confidence interval again right here. Since we are doing a one-sided alternative hypothesis, one of the bounds is infinity. This will happen whenever R is conducting a one-sided t-test hypothesis since it is not splitting that alpha above and below the interval. So we would have 2.5% above and 2.5% below. Instead, it's putting the entire alpha below our interval. So alternatively to a paired t-test, we could also use a single sample t-test procedure that we've used earlier in the semester. These methods are equivalent since the paired t-test procedure internally computes the differences for variables when testing whereas the single sample t-test uses the computed value that you created, that diff variable. To do a single sample t-test on a computed difference variable, we go to statistics, means, single sample t-test, and we choose that difference variable we computed here. And then let's use that earlier two-sided alternative hypothesis. So we would click not equal to, that exclamation equal is not equal to, and our mu not is zero. Remember, we were testing whether or not the difference was equal to zero. And we want to, again, use that 90% significance level. So then after that, we click OK. And we see that we're going to get the same interval and the same test statistic we got earlier. So about negative 5.7 to negative 1. And if we scroll up earlier, we see we have about negative 5.7 to negative 1 there as well. We had negative 2.39 for our t-test statistic, and if we scroll down, negative 2.389 or 0.38 or 39, rounding up. So these are a couple different options for analyzing paired data. Have a wonderful week, and we hope to see you in office hours.